so that's the unit uh, there's a, a Sony 300 discs uh, the model is CDP CX 355 and those are the models that always get like a problem with the belts and that's what I'm gonna do today I'm gonna be replacing the belts phone here as you can see the belt is already melted down there and there is another belt right there that looks like the same way in order to <coughs> replace those belts we need to take all that part out that board that little board underneath right there and looks like crazy a lot of job but it's really pretty simple um there will be three screws down here one screw here one there and four on that board Out down there is already melted. As you can see, a belt there is already melted, and the other one that's right there, as you can see, is already melted too. So through that it'll be easier to get a regular screwdriver and by the way uh, <coughs> before I start it let's just turn the CD on can just see the motor spinning and nothing else happens and they give an error on the front so let's just continue and to be safer I'm gonna remove that flat cable and that little cable on the top here so I can take this one put all the way out on here those wires that goes on that little hole and that on the holder right here and that cover is out 
So the four screws that hold the boards. The only annoying screw to get out is the one that board that is underneath that flat cable right there. But I just gonna to disconnect that flat cable. board is loose the little board in the back uh, remove the optical cover there's those wires that uh, holding down here just get that on the side, remove that blue connector on the bottom. And then we will be able to access that was grab the other phone. After removing those two boards, we can have access, see, for that motor and for that motor right there. That will be pretty simple now. But before we do anything, I'm going to do a little cleanup on those uh, rollers because probably it's grease all over the place. Oh, and the belts are just melted. Oh. That's a big, big mess. So let me just try to get all out there. Let me just remove that flat cable here and put that totally apart. So I can get that bubble gum that's right here. See, the belt is like melted. Let me just grab a pincer, that will be easier to remove those things. Those are really bad. In that case, I gonna get that gear out. Ah. Thank you. 
one more piece of the old belt and I'm gonna wash it those belts remove that one here too and as you can see the belt just belt all along uh, making a big mess all over the place here and there's more pieces of the belts down there I really hate when this happens that makes a big big mess all over the place let me just see oh look <laughs> let me grab some alcohol and do a little clean up on my hands first Just clean that belt. Okay, I don't think I need to wash that one. Let me jump on the next one. Alright, I don't think so. I need to really wash that one. Make them out pretty clean. I just need to <coughs> clean that very well and remove all the residues that still on it and also clean on here on the motors because. There's a lot of see that's messy.
still feeling like breeze all over the place. On this one taking more time to clean up the mess than replace the belts probably. Oops, touch that again. Which I do not want it to touch anything that has grease. All right, I could just do a little more cleaning on the pulley of that motor down there. That's no, still dirty, still seeing some piece of the old belt on it. Okay, I think it's clean enough. Now just clean my hands. <clears throat> And the belts are right here. I'm gonna put the part number in the description, on the, on the, on the video description. Okay, first belt in place. Second belt on place. Now just get all those together and put it back. Let me just put one screw on here. Just to hold that little board in the back. Here too.
connect the cables that I disconnected. Get that screw that's on the top here first. Connect that cable back. That blue cable goes back in here. Get all of those and here. Now get that one here back. And they have some grooves on here, here, and those here that has holes on the bottom. You just have to align them and also that little notch right there that goes on that groove. Put those cables back. Now, get those cables back to here, those on here, and also behind there. Now, get that one here back. And one thing on those units, uh, those are were not mine, and I don't know what has there before or not. Before we start to get the unit again, it's a good thing to do a factor reset on the unit and a little calibration. I'm gonna show you in a few minutes. Okay, and I think so. That's all. Everything should be on place. Let's connect the units. And you see, it's moving. And it's looking for disks, since there's no disks. Okay, like I said, sometimes they have programming on those things that uh, well, there was one thing I forgot that should connect the main display on the board. And that little cable from the front. Here we go. Let's get back again. Uh, as you can see here, it says no disk. And the first thing to do it, I like to do it, is to do a hard reset, a factory reset 
For that, you have to hold the clear bottom that's on that side and hold the power until you see how erase it. Then release it. And it's gonna see do a hard reset. So let's see. Let's just grab one CD here. Open the front. <coughs> CD number one. Close. And here we go. Reading, everything's fine. Alright guys, I think so. That's all for now. I just need to put the cover back. But before I do, I'm gonna do a little cleaning. It's pretty clean the unit, but I'm gonna do a little dusty <coughs> cleaning around and put it back. And that's all. Hope you guys enjoy. And if this helps you somehow, just leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and until the next one.